all right, the first day I got to Weimar, it's actually a pretty sad story. <laughs> because my girlfriend, she broke up with me just the day before I had to move. Yeah. So there I was on the train completely by myself with my two huge suitcases, just trying to keep it together. I didn't know what to expect from Weimar. All I knew was that I was going to move in with five people whom I didn't know at all in a student residence somewhere up the hill. So I arrive at the house where I was going to live in from now and I'm a little bit excited. I open the door and nobody's there. So I moved into my room, I inspected the furniture and suddenly two Asian women were standing in front of my front door <laughs> and they were like, They didn't say anything at all because they neither spoke English nor German. <laughs> I mean, they were nice. Uh, we were trying to communicate with sign language and they led me into the kitchen. They showed me this empty compartment where I could stow away all my stuff. And then they disappeared and that was it, you know. <laughs> I, you know, I just needed somebody to talk to, to share what I felt. Uh, and it was just so ironic that the only people that were living in my place were not able to speak any language that I spoke. So that was it. That was my first day in Weimar. <laughs> uh.